Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to go to uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 4, and then a couple of verses in Matthew 27 and 28, and then back over to Matthew 12. And we'll put these Bible verses in the description below the video if you'd like to check them out. The other night, I was asking the Lord what he would actually like to talk to me about. He said, I actually, he said, I want to talk to you about something. And this is about a particular door and the way that this door will open. And I think that there are people listening to this video that this is going to totally apply to. There are specific doors that are extremely difficult for you right now. And you've been praying for a long time and God wants to give you the characteristics of those doors and how that's going to look when it does open for you. So I was waiting upon the Lord and of course I said, okay, Lord, what do you want to talk about? And he took me to 2 Samuel 7, 4, and it says, But it happened that night that the word of the Lord came to Nathan, saying, So he was trying to get my attention. Yes, I want to talk to you. And there are many that are listening to this video, and it's probably nighttime to you. And God wants your attention. He wants to talk to you right now. So listen up. Matthew chapter 27 65 to 66 says, Pilate said to them, You have a guard, go your way, make it as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard. In Matthew 28, the next verse, 1 to 2 says, After that, the, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. What an interesting and pretty hilarious moment. See, these uh, religious leaders thought that the disciples were going to steal the body of Jesus, so they asked for a guard and for the tomb to be sealed. And Pilate gave them permission. So they sealed the tomb and set a guard over it. So the doorway into the tomb could not be easily reached or the doorway could not be open. And so we see the next verse in Matthew 28, 1 to 2, after the Sabbath. And the, the interesting thing is those listening to this video, your door will be open after the Sabbath. Your door will be open after the Sabbath. As the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. So the door was opened miraculously. And the door that you're waiting to be opened is something so difficult that when it does open to you, that you're going to know that it is God that does it. And he's doing that for a particular reason. He is making sure that you understand that he is doing this. Not a, a connection or a networking of other people that you are involving yourself with. Not a conversation that you have with someone. Not how much money you give here how much involvement you have over there, but the very hand of God miraculously opening this door for you like he did here with the stone that was rolled away and finding the angel sitting on top of it. Matthew chapter 12, verse 3 to 4 says, But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him? How he entered the house of God and ate the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests. So not only will this door be opened miraculously, no other way but the hand of God upon your life and in your life. But when that door opens, you will think the provision on the other side of that door is for someone else like David did. Jesus reminds the religious leaders in this context that David ate the showbread that was for someone else. See here it says, but he said to them, have you not read what David did when he was hungry? He and those who were with, it, who were with him, how he entered the house of God and ate the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests. So, 
the Lord is making the door miraculously opened so you can see that something was that was first intended and originally intended for someone else will be given to you listening to this video. Those are the characteristics, and that may very well be the reason why the door hasn't opened yet. Because God's timing is everything. It is his hand. It is your life that he owns and that we have been bought with a price and our life is no longer our own. So the doors that you're awaiting for are out of obedience and waiting on God. And as you wait, continue in God's word, continue in prayer, continue in those other areas of your life. And some people need to hear this also, that some doors don't open up because there's a lack of forgiveness in your life. Or there's something else that needs to go away, something else that needs to cut out of your life so that you can actually see the hand of God open the door and you can see that the provision that may very well look like for someone else is actually for you in your time of need. But you got to get rid of some things out of your life so you can see it. God bless you guys. Have a great day.